What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Ishana. It's your boy Bonds. It's your boy 2D from Geeks in the City. And uh, before I get to this video, I just want to uh, give a shout out and a thanks to uh, everybody who wished uh, me and my family support during this time. Uh, recently, around April, the end of March, I have came down with uh, COVID. Sucked a lot of dick. Uh, but you no, know, get well soon and stuff like that. My mom got a recovery. She's recovering. She she be an extra with it, but she's recovering. So I just want to say thank you, uh, thank you to everybody who uh, for the get well. So I really appreciate it. And now we get to the important stuff. Uh, I'm not doing any uh, let's plays or games right now. I'm just going to talk about uh, news that came out recently, a few days ago. Um, if you don't know what Evo is, Evo is probably one of the biggest fighting game tournaments in the world. Uh, happens uh, once a year based in america basically all the top players from all the all the best games all the best fighting games all the circuit lore games that are very popular around the time you no know, dragon ball uh tekken street fighter smash basically all these games and all, all the top players anybody can compete though it's open for everybody but all the top players they usually go to this tournament to basically get the championship whatever it's basically well acclaimed it's been you know in the fgc for a very long time and uh you know considering all the bs that's been happening lately they decided to cancel it just like uh e3 which is supposed to you know it's like one of the two two of the biggest gaming events of the year just got canceled and we already knew that e3 was gonna get canceled like you know that was that was it so um but instead of actually fully canceling it they decided to do something a little bit more different this time uh subtracting offline for online so basically they're going to be having online tournaments or basically like an online tournament in general for evo with all these games and uh it's kind of how people that like, got a lot of people in the mixed feelings about this because most of these games that are on the roster for this year for evo doesn't have very good net play like the games are ass all right the, the games are great you feel me offline but playing these games online it strikes a lot of nerves because everybody knows that these games all of these games on this list or mostly all of them have very bad net code like say for example smash i love smash i love smash death like you know but for the most part everybody knows that smash online is trash you can ask top players you can ask casuals you can ask anybody you know that online play with smash is trash just like with street fighter just like with dragon ball basically with all these games and it's kind of it's kind of got people wondering like why would they you know like if they do do this and it's kind of like it's a good thing and a bad thing because the good things is is if the tournament goes through and they decide to go with these online tournaments and it shows how bad the net play is you know and that's gonna basically it's gonna bring a lot of questions like why didn't they fix this netcode because people have been asking for these fixes when it comes to the online play for a very long time with the introduction of rollback which is basically like the better version of net play because mostly all these games up here are uh delay based netcode which is not the right way to go like you can ask anybody about that but you know like and if this is a well-known tournament so if people watching this tournament it's kind of just like you know it gets you like why are they ho why are they hosting this and why are they posting this knowing that how bad the these games online is this? so basically it'll get i guess the devs or the creators of these games to fix it but the bad is how the publicity like or how the public image of evo 2020 will be if something bad like this actually happens you know because this is uh, a well-known tournament this is very you would expect them to have the highest quality and entertainment for everybody involved you feel me like i want to be one i wouldn't want to be watching grand finals of street fighter or tekken and they and both uh players are on their last bit of health about to go for the finishing blow and then all of a sudden the game lags out you feel me in the in the the game lags out and it's a it's a disconnection it's kind of it's a difference between being like like when your controller disconnects or something happens internally with like basically with the system or whatever because basically you just run that whole thing back it's not a big issue but online you don't have that opportunity so you have to start the whole set over again and it's not anybody's fault you feel me so it, i mean it's not anybody's fault you know because it's, it's online this is what you expect to happen especially considering the fact that most of these players the top players are not even in america most of the top players like for for tekken and street fighter they're in on the other side of the planet they're in japan they're in uh, korea they're in europe they're in pakistan like they're in basically they're on the other side of the planet so you obviously know that the that the code or in general the net play 
in contrast to being in North America and how far the distance is, is not going to be good. All right. Like we, we know this is not going to be good, especially considering the fact that we have the grimy players. I'm not going to try to say, you know, but bruh, there's a thing called lag switches, bruh. There's, there's a lot of ways to manipulate net play. So if anybody wants to join or it's kind of just like if they allow like not just top players, just casual players to join into the tournaments, there's a lot of ways to, in general, like, like a lot of people, they can basically manipulate the net play to get further in bracket to basically, basically just cheat their way through the bracket. Because it's not like you can actually figure out who's doing what, considering the fact that there's just so many people joining the tournaments. So my thoughts on this is kind of just like, is a good thing and a bad thing. Like if, they, if this does happen and it decides to be in a wreck, which everybody expects this to be, it can show uh, how much uh, the online and the net play needs to be fixed for these games. Sure, take it full stage control and just diving off, throwing caution to the wind. You can see him Let's going. Take a quick pause in the action in the northeast region between Seth and I Snacks and let you guys know during this viewing, you might see a little bit of a slowdown or buffering, but do not worry. The players aren't seeing that. That's not affecting them, and that will not affect the VODs afterwards, of course. A lot of levers and colors being switched right now. And Why you take a look lying? at the first two matches between Chef and Ice Nash. Oh my God. So, game two, Stop I can see come back to what we saw right You feel me? Like, this is not... Even now, you can watch a lot of these tournaments. You see a lot of top players and, like, a lot of well-known players in the community complaining about how bad the online is. And it's not like... They're not going to stop competing. You feel me? This is their jobs. This is what they do. They compete for the money. They compete for the income. It's not that they can literally stop what they're doing. You know, like this is this is their job. It's like how everybody else has their job. They make their living off of this. And to be cheated or to be uh, screwed over because of the net play and not even by your own skill. You know, not to say that's an excuse, but online in general has a huge impact on how people play because the delay is actually there. It's noticeable. You know, it's not like it's, it's it. That's why people play online. That's why people play offline. You know, that's that's why we don't have online tournaments for important, basically for important stuff like this, like things that are going to be streamed all across the country, things that are going to be shown on Twitch and on YouTube and all these huge websites. This is supposed to bring in money, supposed to bring in revenue. And if this messes up, this can be bad for everybody. You feel me? So I'm just like, my thoughts on it is kind of just like, um, you know, like, maybe it's not like, you know, I have any say in this, but I feel like a lot of people would agree with me was kind of just like, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of weird instead of fully canceling it. Cause I don't, I didn't, I don't want it to be canceled. You feel me? Like I actually was looking forward to the Marvel versus Capcom 2, the Invitational with all the best players, with Yipes, uh, Duck Doe, Justin Wong. Cause Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is lit. You feel me? And that's probably the only game that has net play dealing with like with emulators and whatever so that game can actually hold and it's actually well made so i'm like i'm i'm not really worried about that you feel me Cause that's just like an invitation that's like something special for the 20th anniversary but considering the fact that they have all these games up here the opportunity for things to go bad is a very high probability it's a very high chance you know so i don't want anything bad to happen because you know this can probably bring down the you know the the reputation of evo you know it affects everybody you feel me and um yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I want to talk about. It's just, this is very, it's a weird time right now. You know, I guess they have to, you know, they can't just, because I was actually planning on going this year. I bought my ticket and everything, and I was so mad when they said, we're going to be refunded. I'm just like, man, you a dick. Like, I'm like, man, whatever, bro. The first time I decide to go, you feel me, it gets canceled. But, you know, CV would do that to you. But, uh, yeah, that was just basically my opinion on it. Um, hopefully things will go like i don't want i don't want to be a pessimist about this hopefully things will go the uh the right way you know hopefully but as long as they're in general as long as there is online with a fighting game tournament there's going to be some problems all right like i'm not just being realist about this you feel me like it's not like most of these games up here have rollback because most of them don't street fighter has some sort of implemented rollback but it's done so poorly that it makes no difference in general, even with the distance, it's still going to be a problem because distance affects online play also. You feel me? It's like, it's not anybody's fault, you know, if you're playing somebody from Korea or uh, Pakistan or Japan or Europe and we're over here, you know, it's just the distance. Like, you know, it's not about how bad somebody's internet is in that, in that aspect. It's just about the distance. So, um, yeah, that's my thoughts on it. Hopefully they get everything figured out. Um, thanks for listening. Uh, I'll be posting this on YouTube and Facebook. 
um i'm actually be streaming uh consistently now i have like everything set up i bought my uh, new laptop so i'll be able to stream from there i got the editing equipment so i'm um, be basically streaming uh every night from like 11 11 p.m to 12 i'm like ah degenerate hours you know i'll be i like streaming lurking I like, I like to lurk so basically i'll just be streaming there streaming variety stuff that's uh i'm going to be streaming skull girls i think this week and probably i will be doing a blind playthrough of undertale like i know about sans i know about the memes but i never actually fully played undertale so this will basically be my first time playing undertale if you want to join with that i'll be playing at uh twitch.tv slash shananani i'll leave the link in the description below and i'll leave a link to the descriptions of the squad so uh thanks for listening i really do appreciate all the support that y'all give me uh you know i'm just i'm trying to do better with this and i'll see y'all next video peace yo you want to learn how to do a fucking infinite i'm gonna teach you motherfucking bitch ass easiest shit in the motherfucking marvel 3 marvel 2 fuck it i don't give a fuck iron man all right jump up in the air hit up fucking heavy kick nigga and then it's motherfucking light punch, medium punch, light kick, heavy punch. Hold diagonal to whichever way you fucking going. You only hit X fucking up, motherfucking heavy kick. You can't do it on the ground, motherfucker. That shit don't work. Let's stop this motherfucker off right. Ow, 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 drop that shit. What are you doing, motherfucker? Ow, ow, how's it taste? Keep the rhythm up. If you fuck up the rhythm, the motherfucking combo will drop, motherfucker. Keep that motherfucking shit up. You keep the same motherfucking rhythm. If you drop this motherfucker, then it will not be motherfucking cool. You can cancel it out into motherfucking heavy punch ultra. But I ain't gonna do that shit. Ah! It drops after motherfucking 59 hits, motherfucker. That shit's crazy. 54 and 55. When you're doing it in the corner, don't hold straight diagonal. After motherfucking two to four hits, it'll drop just like that. Let's see it again. One motherfucker, oh, 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 fuck, oh.